Okay, welcome everybody to physical science. This is the last day of notes for the, the test that will be on Wednesday. So there's not a whole bunch of notes here, but there are a couple things that you will have to memorize. So we've talked about trend, some trends already with the periodic table. You did the alien periodic table. You saw you know some trends there too. So these are kind of the last bit of the notes and in chapter four. So group characteristics is where we're at for the notes. And this is one thing that we're going to use a lot in the next chapter. All elements want to achieve an octet of electrons. And you really need to add to this. It's not just an octet of electrons, but it's it's uh, an octet of electrons in valence shell. In valence shell. So according to this, you know, achieving this octet of electrons, then these elements will have chemical characteristics that are really defined by how many electrons they have and how close they are to having this octet. You know, octet, what is the number? When we think octet, we're thinking eight. Eight, very good. Okay. These are exception elements, one through five, because they don't even have any electrons, do they? So we're talking hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, and boron. These can be happy by achieving two electrons in their outermost energy level. And then this is called the duet rule. So we have the octet rule and the duet rule. Okay, so let's look at alkali metals. So alkali metals are the group one metals. So it's hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubin, all the group one elements. They're called alkali metals and they have one valence electron. Okay, these are very reactive. So if you look on page 121 of your book, you can see some pictures and snapshots of what happens. Um, also, I would encourage you to Google Mythbusters alkali metals, and you'll find them blowing toilets up with this stuff. Okay. okay, so then we have the next group, alkaline earth metals, which is group two. These have two valence electrons in their outer energy level. You guys knew that already, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. So these are also very reactive. And we'll find out next chapter why they're so reactive. Because the way that they achieve an octet is they actually give electrons away, which knocks them down to the next energy level, in which then they have an octet. We'll talk about that all later. But magnesium, strontium, these are used in fireworks. So, you know, the uh, remember the magnesium ribbon we burned in lab? Yeah. It was really bright. I said, don't, I said, don't look directly at it, so everybody did. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what sparklers are, just plain magnesium, basically. You've seen sparklers, right? Yeah. And you don't look at those, either. Calcium is used in the body, and you can look at some pictures. In, on page 122 of your book. Okay, so now the third, one, the third group we're going to talk about is the transition elements. So remember we talked about the main block or the normal block, and that's everything that we've been studying so far. But now I want you to at least be aware of the other part of the periodic table. And that would be that all these, whoop, all these here, let's do this. All these are called, so all this stuff is called transition elements. Okay, and the, you know how we did the one valence electrons, two valence electrons, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight? These are variable.
Venus electrons, but we haven't talked about that yet. Okay, so notice this, people. After uranium, all are synthetic. Okay, so uranium is uh, number 92 on your periodic chart. So everything after uranium is synthetic, which means, and, and actually there's others that are synthetic too. We said before those, this one is synthetic and this one is synthetic too. And what they mean, what they mean by synthetic is we only been able to make them here on Earth. We haven't seen them naturally. But there's a good chance they're out there somewhere naturally, it's just not here on Earth. Okay? And then we have the halogens, okay? So have you heard about a halogen light or have you ever used a parking lot at night? Okay, so those are, um, a lot of times those are halogen lights that are so bright. Um, but these have seven valence electrons, they're very reactive. Remember, they're happy when they get eight electrons. So something that has in the outer shell, something that has seven is right there. So it just needs one more, so it's very, very reactive. Chlorine is used in pools to disinfect. Did you guys know that chlorine is odorless? What? So you guys know what an amino acid is? Yeah. It's a basic building block of all proteins, right? And bacteria is, they, they're made up, well, everything's made out of proteins. So when you put chlorine into a pool, then what happens is it starts breaking down the amino acids. Because, because the amino acids are more attracted to the chlorine than they are to their next building block of amino acids. So then what you get are called chloramines, which is short for a combination of chlorine and amino acid pieces. And that's what you can smell. You can smell chloramines, but you can't smell chlorine. Okay, remember the halogens, chlorine, bromine, iodine, they all form diatomic molecules. But don't forget nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen too, do it too. So I think we already marked our periodic chart of the ones that are diatomic when they're elementally alone, and that would be these, so right here, whoop, right here, and here, and here. Those are all di. Oh, weird. Those are all diatomic molecules. So when they're elementally alone, they come to become pairs of two. So this would be H two, N two, O two, F two, Cl two, Br two, I two. Okay. Any questions on that? Diatomic, two atoms, pretty simple stuff, right? That's why we like science, it's simple. Okay, and finally, last but not least, we have the noble gases, which we talked a little bit about. They have a valence electrons already, that's why they don't react. And remember they were named, you know, in the time of when they're saying nobility doesn't mix with the rest of the crowd, if they stay in a castle. So these are noble gases, they don't mix with the other elements. Any questions on that? Nope. Page 127. Okay, so this is some memorization stuff you need to know for the test. Other than that, I think you know everything else. It's not tomorrow, is it?